happy Saturday and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. I look a hot mess because I was in the middle of getting ready for my birthday celebrations and I had to run a quick errand. I'm going to try to film as much as possible for y'all today for Vlogmas Day 5. Um, and I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I have some amazing friends and sometimes I just want to go back to undergrad, but, um, not a breath. I just ran up three flights of stairs, but that's okay. So, um, yeah, I got to finish getting ready. If I would try to get as much footage as possible, but if not, there will be tons of pictures and I am happy that it's not raining. It was supposed to be raining today. My hair is wrapped up under this hat. Um, it was supposed to be raining I was praying to God. I was like, please make this rain go away. Um, it barely rained yesterday. It's not raining today. And I'm excited. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just blessed and thankful. And I'm ready to get this show on the road. Okay. See y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all, she is ready. So first of all, the burgundy dress was worn, but for pictures only, um, I don't know if I told y'all, it's too tight to eat in, okay? <laughs> for pictures only. This is a white sweater dress, which I will get a full body of. I've had for, I think over a year that I'm just now wearing. I gotta get out the door. Um, these are, hold on my balloons i'm 35 those down there have died <laughs> but yeah so we go back where this good lighting was i'm so ready to eat because i haven't ate yet and i'm excited so i hope this lighting is okay but let's go of course we got the classic red i didn't do too much makeup wise because i um didn't want to worry about my makeup meaning like with me having combination skin, I just didn't want to worry about it. What it looked like is okay. Checking every other minute, going to the bathroom, looking in the mirror, all those things. So I just did a little bit. Plus, I really like my freckles. So, yeah, let's go eat and eat this cake because it looks so good. And of course, I will include footage of that as well. Okay. <laughs> Can you see yourself? Yeah. She definitely cut me off, but it's okay. We're going to forgive you. Anything else? Hey. Hey. It kind of tastes like it. But I'm like, what do you get? I just got a regular pineapple mimosa. Oh, okay. Yeah. Everything look okay so far, you guys? Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. All right, y'all, so <laughs> my friends are so good to me. Um, we got Amazon gift cards, Target gift cards. What else did we get? I didn't want to do another whole video, and I'm not sure how much footage I have. We got some money. This is difficult with just one hand. Oh my gosh. What is in this one? I had started to open them, then I stopped. Oh, we have a home goods gift card. This one is to Ulta. This one has TJ Maxx and Chick fil A. If you know me, you know I love Chick fil A. This right here is what's left of my cake. 
Um, hopefully by now I've inserted a picture of the whole cake. But what's left of the cake? What's left of the cupcakes? Then we have a scarf right here. And there was something else in this bag. I haven't opened this yet. Oh, this is cute. May you be blessed. And then I think this is a, well, no, I don't know why. Oh, this is a cute little fashion mask. It's kind of fall colors. And then <laughs> teacher tools. Uh, somebody else who's a teacher got this for me. That's so cute. But yeah, and sorry for the ruckus. Um, I need to find that money. Isn't this the cutest bag? so cute but i need to get my life together hold on y'all so i hope y'all can hear me we're in this store that i don't know the name of my brother um likes these uh i don't want to call them redneck stores but <laughs> my brother likes these outside adventurous type stores because we're from the country okay so, so um change clothes spending some time with them or whatever um and i really just have a lot of like i'm gonna show you what they got so they sell shoes like this like work shoes and hunting boots and things like this I mean I guess some of them stuff is okay it's not a store that I would go to but to each their own you know it's different they got some new balances <laughs> oh my gosh I'm so weird they got a clearance section there goes my brother this isn't the one y'all met this is the other one. Hold on. Say hey. Hi. Hey. Hey. I feel like this is going to be a boring vlog. This is probably going to be day five and day six. Because I don't know when I'm going to get home. And it's already, I think it's four o'clock. I don't think I changed the time on um, this watch. I'm sorry if I sound muffled or if I sound like I'm breathing heavy or hard. But I'm just sitting here on this. I guess it's like a um some type of cover you can put on your your back seat in your car or whatever. I'm just waiting on them. I'm so hungry again. But I guess that was like a while ago when we ate. So I'm just sitting here waiting or whatever. Anyways, I think my red lipstick. Ugh, it looks so bad now. But ain't nobody seeing me no ways. It's cold outside. I don't want to go to, um, I'm not ready to go back to work. Having a three day weekend is nice. But the good thing is church is online tomorrow. So I can use tomorrow to kind of like chill and do whatever it is I need to do. All these employees just walking around like they ain't got nothing to do. They literally just walking around the store. There's like four guys just like walking in circles. Getting paid to do nothing. It is kind of. I don't know. I feel like it's a lot of people in here in a way. Like maybe they should only be letting a certain amount of people in at a time. I wish I had something to talk to. Oh, I do got something to talk to y'all about. Did y'all see that? Uh, Keisha Cole versus Ashanti. Who y'all pulling for? Um, you know, they always say Ashanti can't sing. But her body is nice. Ashanti's body is nice. And I think she's like 40 or 41. And you know, Keisha, <laughs> I like Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole, like a hooded version of Monica. Like, 
Keisha Cole is hood, hood. Like, they be ready to pull up, like, low with the chopper, okay? But I'll probably watch that. I'll probably um, tune into that or whatever. But, yeah, I think that's going to be entertaining to watch. I'm trying to watch all these people walking around me because I am definitely a minority in here, if you know what I mean, okay? So, I think we're ready to check. We're ready to check out. We almost ready to check out, you know. Got to watch your guard when you're a minority and you used to be in a majority. So, <laughs> excuse my ratchetness. But anyways, um, if we go somewhere else, I'll show y'all what we're at or what we're doing or whatever. I hope you can hear me. I have my mask on. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Um needed some groceries they don't have these I wanted the crinkly ones I don't see the crinkly ones so these are fine so I just have a couple of items that I'm getting I made a list but Kinda, um, <laughs> I'm getting stuff that's on the list, but I'm not. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna get this salmon again, even though they don't have a salmon that I truly like. I tried this one last time, and it was okay. I don't know what happened to the other one ever since coronavirus <laughs> my uh hardy b voice it's been gone so this is the dairy free cheese that i like i don't like this one it wasn't that good at all so i mean everybody likes different stuff but i didn't like so i like daya 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 whatever but so far I just have water, fries, soup, salmon, some juices, and lettuce. And I don't know what other meat I want. I don't see the dairy-free ice cream that I want. I didn't see the last time I was in here either. But I will um, check back in with y'all later. The only thing I have picked up since last time was some tea. This tea I really like because it's like a detox tea. But you don't have to add any honey or anything to it for it to taste good. It tastes good just by itself with the blueberry. Jasmine rice. I'm so happy they had this. Popcorn. Um, I haven't tried these before, so I decided to try it. And there was only one left, so I figured it must be good. So, yeah, I'm also in the Christmas section. Y'all, I remember when this was like full of stuff, and I was completely empty. They really only have wrapping paper and bows left, just like wrapping stuff. Everything else is practically gone. They have some like little kids ornaments or little really they're the ugly <laughs> ornaments i shouldn't say that but it's true hi i just wanted to come on here and properly end this vlog and leave you with some inspiration to get you through the week satisfaction i have seen all the works that are done under the sun and behold all is vanity a striving after wind and a feeding on the wind we all want to feel satisfied we all want contentment we all want to know that we are loved and accepted for who we are. We may think acceptance and approval from people will make us feel complete. However, the Bible teaches us that when we trust in men to give us what only God can give, we live under a curse. But when we trust in the Lord, we are blessed. The joy, peace, and fulfillment we seek come from being filled with God and nothing else. They do not come from having a certain person in our lives or from money, position, power, fame, accomplishments, or anything else. If you don't believe me, try all the other things. 
you will ultimately come to the same conclusion, that you are bankrupt as a person, that nothing you have tried has given you a sense of fulfillment and completeness. Read the book of Ecclesiastes, which was written by Solomon. He was a man who tried virtually everything to find this kind of deep inner completeness and satisfaction. Nothing he tried worked until he came full circle and realized that what he truly wanted had been available all the time. He wanted God. Lord, show me the subtle and not so subtle ways that I look for satisfaction in something other than you. What I really want is you. Amen. Amen. So this is so good because we all do this. We either do it to ourselves or other people do it to us. So we get this one thing, but we want something else. We get the job, but we're mad because we didn't get the promotion in enough time. We're in our feelings, so we go get ice cream, but we're still in our feelings. We go shopping. We have people ask, when you gonna get married? Then you get married. When you gonna have kids? We look for this for we look for this certain type of fulfillment and joy in everything, and it just leads us on and more and more and more. But what we truly have to do is seek God and keep Him first in our lives, so we can have that true joy and that true peace on a consistent, everyday basis. Know that that doesn't mean that everything is gonna be butterflies and rainbows and sprinkles and ice cream. However. Um, it's important to know that he is with us and that he wants the best for us. And if we continue to seek him and put him first in our lives, to call on him, to pray to him, to know that even through hard times, there's a positive situation in it. There's joy in it. There's peace in the middle of the storm. There's so many, um, negative things that people go through, so many hardships that people go through. Sometimes it just feels so discouraging and sometimes you just want to give up so bad and then you look at these other people, it could be easily through social media, especially right now, and their life seem all perfect and amazing. And like they all have it figured, and like they have it all figured out. And then maybe they put up this post and you're like, I didn't know they were going through that. Or maybe even you put up a post and people are like, I didn't know you were going through that. And although I don't share all my business on social media, I get that all the time like, um, people tell me, oh, it's like you have it all figured out. Oh, everything seems great. And it's not that I have it all figured out. And it's not that I don't look for satisfaction in things and, and people and that I don't desire this, that, and third, it's just that one, I don't put all my business on social media. And two, I truly try to see God in everything. I try to remember that one, it could be worse. Two, um, it's going to be better. And that life is pretty great, you know, even though there's so many things I could complain about, so many things I haven't done, accomplished yet, um, life is pretty great, you know, when it comes down to it, we all, if more people look to see what they have versus what they don't have, they would probably feel the same way, like, I'm pretty blessed, life is pretty great, you know, I remember when I didn't have a car, I remember when I didn't have any money in the bank, I remember when you know, I wanted the child, I wanted the son, I wanted the daughter, and now I finally got that child, you know, but instead we continue to want more and more and more and more, and we look for the satisfaction in things still looking for in God, who ultimately will provide us with everything we need, what things we want, desires of our heart, desires that he has placed in our heart. So, as you go throughout your week and things get frustrating, your co-workers are getting on your nerves, um, it's that time of the month. You know, you're just in your feelings about whatever. Know that God is with you. God is for you. Don't let other people steal your joy. Don't let other people discourage you. And like my girl Tap the Brown say, don't go messing up somebody else's day just because you're having a bad one. If you're having a bad one, turn up that worship music. Turn that inspirational music. See God eat the ice cream. The problem's still going to be there. However, it will help for a moment. <laughs> but anyways, I hope y'all have a beautiful week. Stay positive. Keep positive mindset. Do not give up. Hold on. Don't quit. God is on your side. Peace out.